What's going on guys? Welcome to the Sigma Aficionado channel. Today I got a nice video for you guys on how to pick out your very first cigar in just three easy steps. Make sure to stick around to the end because I'm going to give my own personal recommendations. I'm going to be covering more of the beginner stuff. If you're celebrating and you want a special cigar, this is not necessarily the video for you. And now without any further ado, the three steps Go to your local humidor and pick out a cigar that you can kick back and relax and enjoy. Now, step one, what's your strength tolerance? Now, if you've never smoked cigarettes or vaped or had any kind of nicotine in your body before, you need to absolutely make sure you go with a very mild cigar. One thing I learned is mild does not necessarily mean bad or a worse experience. Most of the time, I enjoy mild cigars. So uh, mild just has to do with the strength of the, the cigar and how much is going to sit you back in your seat when that nicotine hits you. So don't sweat that too much. Cigars are not all about strength. Next up, you got your medium strength cigars. So if you're someone who smokes occasionally now and then, maybe you vape every now and then, uh, you like dark coffee, you like dark espresso, you like your drinks stronger, you probably want something more medium. Now, if you have a higher nicotine tolerance and you, you're a regular smoker, then it's okay for you to go ahead and, and try out a strong cigar. Uh, if you tried something mild, you might be smoking and wondering, you know, why isn't this doing anything to me? So try something medium or you can definitely go strong. The second question that you're gonna need to ask yourself is how much time do you have to smoke this cigar? This is actually pretty important. Now, in my opinion, to have a proper cigar, it's got to be at least a Robusto size. So now this is a 5 by 50 classic Robusto size. This is a good 45 minute to one hour smoke. You can have it, you know, anytime you got an hour. Robusto is the perfect size smoke. All right, now let's say you have some, a little bit more than an hour or you want to just, you know, really relax and just, and just kick back and let go for the day. You got... 60 to 90 minutes, you're going to want what's called typically a Toro size. You're looking at six inch in length, 50 ring gauge, or in that area. Examples of Toro, these can all be considered Toros. They're not the exact same length. They probably have the same amount of smoke time. The difference would be in ring gauges. These are going to be good, you know, 60 uh, hour to an hour and a half smoke. When I want to enjoy a cigar and I got time, I'll usually go for a Toro without a doubt. If I'm short on time, but I want a cigar, I'll go Robusto or something smaller. Okay, now the big dogs. If you really, really just want to kick back and you ain't got nothing planned, it's Sunday, you're just hanging out, you're just chilling on the deck, you're chilling on the patio, you do not want to be disturbed. And you're not going to be disturbed. You got an hour and a half plus. You got two hours or more. You're going to want Churchill size cigar. And those are seven inch cigars by 50. And that'll be something like this. Hands down, one of my favorite smokes. When I have nothing planned, I just want to kick back. Just leave me alone. I just want to be alone with my thoughts and contemplate. And these are your basic main sizes. Everything else is just you know, derivatives of this right here. You got a lot of time, go with this. Maybe you're celebrating. Uh, if, it's, if you just want a great, you know, nice cigar, go with Toro, it's the most popular. And Robusto, don't let the size fool you. Some Robustos are, they might even taste better than the Toro of the same thing. Love Robustos. Now, step three when it comes to picking out a cigar is your budget. In my opinion, anything you know, from $8 all the way up to $14, anything in that range, they're all gonna be some amazing smokes. As long as you stick with some brands that are well-known and established, you're gonna have a great smoke every time. The next bracket I would say is from 15 to $20. These cigars, I wouldn't get them as a beginner just because you might not appreciate the nuances and the flavors that they have in them. But once you've developed your palate a bit, definitely, you're gonna find some amazing smokes in that 15 to 20 dollar range. Now the next price bracket would be 20 to 30 dollars. Now cigars in this range are typically going to be some strong cigars, amazing cigars, very flavorful, always a good time but it's not something unless you got the budget 
I mean, that's that's on you, but it's not something you would want every single day. And last, we've got our $30 and plus cigars. Now, these are more celebration cigars. So I'm not gonna include them in this video, but if you wanna see more content like that, be sure to leave a comment. And now we're moving on to my favorite part. I am gonna share with you guys my own personal recommendations for each of these categories. Drum roll, please. <laughs> okay, so for mild cigars, I would go with Mild and Budget, Oliva, Connecticut, Toro. Very nice creamy smoke. There's another mild option would be this guy right here, Perdomo Champagne, 10th anniversary. And if you just have expensive taste and you want a mild cigar, I would definitely go with Davidoff Signature number two. So these would be my mild cigar suggestions. This would be a perfect, Oliva is a perfect first time smoke. Perdomo, if you want something with a little more oomph, this is one of my favorite smokes all the time. And Davidoff signature number two. And next up, we've got some more medium cigars. You can find this typically in every humidor. This is the Arturo Fuente Don Carlos, double Robusto size. So double Robusto is basically a Toro. This is another one of my absolute favorite smokes. Every time, consistent, just amazing. And for something a bit more stronger, boom. Oliva Siri V Milanio. The Milanio here, this is the Torpedo. As you can tell, it's got a torpedo shape. Very cool cigar. An amazing smoke right here. Love it. Very strong too. Also, the Padron that I threw in the video earlier. These are both strong and amazing cigars. Just in case you go to a humidor and maybe the tobacconist there just so it doesn't really help you out too much. At least you go in there with an idea of what you need. Before you go out there and light up that first cigar, I just have a couple more tips for you. If you didn't know, you never want to inhale cigar smoke. Just take those hits and just blow them out. Make sure you take your time between each hit. You don't want to smoke too fast. You definitely don't want to smoke too slow. About a minute between each puff is just right. When you're smoking, try to sense the taste it's kind of a mental thing so just try to imagine what does this flavor remind you of and then that's kind of how you're going to develop your palate i would drink something simple like water or coffee or maybe a, a coke have some candy on hand just in case you get a little woozy from the nicotine take your time enjoy the journey very soon you are going to be enjoying all the flavors and nuances and complexity that the tobacco world has to offer. Make sure you like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video.